um, what's it been like to see Dak these last few days? It looks, I mean, he missed some practices, but he looks pretty mm-hmm. sharp. Uh, I mean, it's always good having him out there. Uh, I mean, the little days that he missed felt like nothing compared to last year. So uh, it's good to have him out there anytime he can get out there. What's with Kevin's offense being? He has so many weapons, especially the receiver and Jets. What's with your offense talent? How's it been? Uh, I mean, we're I feel like we're gonna we're gonna be as good as whatever we put out there, and um, I feel like. We can hit on any cylinders, whatever we want to. And I mean, Kellen calls great plays and we execute them. The chemistry is a little off because you haven't had back. You know, why just came back? Why do you think the chemistry is everyone's back in the right. Uh, I mean, we were just talking about it today, a couple of the receivers. I feel like um, the chemistry is good. I mean, because. Um, Dak just went out for a little bit, but if you really think about it, most of us have been together going on three, four years now. And um, I mean, along with CD, obviously, but he does he does him. Um, but I think we're doing pretty good as an overall offensive group. Cedric, how have you improved as a receiver since the first day you got here? Uh, I mean, I feel like I've made big jumps, uh, just more comfortable, um, just going out there, playing like I know how. I'm sure all of y'all are close, but you and Noah in particular, do y'all maybe bond more because y'all are the guys that have to do the dirty work more so than the three at the top of the depth chart? Uh, I mean, I feel like we all bond as a group. Uh, I wouldn't just really single all, single anybody out. Um, actually, probably me and Gallup probably hang out the most off the field, but like when we're all here, we're always together, all five of us. Uh, I mean, he's going to give you advice. It's kind of hard sometimes because he jokes a lot. But when he's talking football, he's usually serious. So you just got to listen. What's he joking about? Uh, just Coop being Coop. <laughs> it's, I, I can't really explain it. How did the conversation go down, or how did it go down in general? Just how you went from being number 11 to number 1? I mean, did you talk to Mike? I just How did that all come about? Uh, I mean, as soon as obviously we drafted him, I was like, I'm pretty sure he's going to want number 11. <laughs> obviously, I saw it in college. <laughs> And uh, I mean, it was a pretty smooth operation. I wore one in college and they changed the rules. So I was like, well, this is kind of my chance to try to get in one. And when the opportunity was presented, we made the switch. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Did you get in for a dinner or whatever? No, nah, it, I mean, it was a smooth transition. He wanted 11, I wanted one. So you being a nice you guy, you just said, fine, this is the switch. Hey, teammates being teammates, yeah. you know. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think he's the same guy every day, um, whether it's meeting, whether it's coming out here to practice. I feel like he was in practice just not throwing the ball. And, I mean, the other quarterbacks did a great job um, filling in for him. Um, but, that, I mean, that, he doesn't have to throw the ball to be himself. You've been around Cooper Rush for a few years now. What's Cooper, how does Cooper run the offense, or how does it feel different from Dak, if at all? Uh, I mean, they don't really feel any different. I mean, Coop, um, obviously, he's, he plays like himself. And I feel like I've obviously had way more reps with Coop over the years. Yeah. And shoot, I mean, I joke all the time. I mean, shit, Coop gave me a chance to keep my job. So yeah. uh, um, I feel grateful every time I get to run a rep with him. Were you just over here with these guys? Uh, you know, the yeah, we was running. Yeah. So what was that for? Uh, you guys aren't playing on Sunday. Uh, yeah, we were just getting some extra conditioning in. Um, I mean, it's like we're going to do it. Getting ready for Tampa because we got to run in the heat because it's going to be hot down there. So you're not playing on Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to get used to the heat? Are you, I mean, you've had a couple practices outside. Uh, I mean, you don't really get used to it ever. You really just pick up your conditioning, rather hot or cold. Um, so, but he definitely takes a toll when you ain't been in it for a while. What's the key to staying hydrated? I mean, Zeke was saying the other day that weighing in and out before practice, you think it'd be like six, seven pounds different. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, different difference between the guy. That's why we weigh in and out, so they can tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. But I mean, you just got to drink fluids. It's a lot of guys. Most of the guys on the team eat a lot. I mean, I drink a lot. Obviously, yeah. the weight's not there. So, uh, <laughs> staying hydrated is pretty easy to me. Would you say it's fun to play special teams for John Fossil? I just feel like he's, there's always like a, you know, it seems like a 
wild amount of possibilities whenever right. you know you guys go out there. Obviously, there was fakes last year and things like that. Just what is it like being a special teams player with a coach like that? Uh, b b bones and hats for sure. They for sure make special teams fun, and they don't make it seem like it's just the guys that don't play on offense. That's a whole another group of guys that we make our own separate bond on special teams, and they give each guys an opportunity. That's the biggest thing when you're a coach and you're giving guys chances to go out there and make a name for themselves. Um, they definitely give you the chance to put your front foot forward. How do you go into some of these plays that uh, you know not wanting to show your hand that like a trick play might be coming? Like, is it, is it difficult for you to do that? Or? Uh, I mean, not really. You're, you're excited on the inside, but uh, I mean, we've been playing football for a while now, and usually the other guys aren't expecting it when it's called because that's on the coaches to call it at the right time.